Holly and welcome to the Proper Pineapple Podcast. This is episode number 25. I looked it up. Aha! I can never remember you guys, but I looked it up this time. Uh, if you are new, welcome to the channel. If you are old, thank you for coming back. You guys know I love all my pineapple peoples. Um, you can find me all over the internet at the Proper Pineapple. All the links are down below. I have a website where you can buy my patterns and my bags and whatever's available at the time. It's always on my website. Uh, also, there's a Ravelry store and a Love Craft store linked down below for all my patterns. Um, if you wish to get a hold of me, email is always the best, which is the proper pineapple at gmail.com. Um, and I think that about covers it, all the places you can find me. I am most active on Instagram, which doesn't say much because I'm not that active, <laughs> but I am active on Instagram. So that's like the best way besides emailing if you want to get a hold of me. So this is just a crochet and knitting podcast, mostly crochet, but I do knit too. Uh, and let's see, before we get going into what's been going on and all my projects and da 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 does, I have just been feeling down lately, like something, I needed a change in my life. And I know what you're saying, didn't you sell your house and buy a camper and <laughs> move into that? Yes. Yes, I did. And no, that's not enough change for me. I need something else. I don't know, I mean, maybe this t-shirt's not working here. Maybe my glasses I don't know maybe it's my hair maybe I need to do something different with my hair maybe I should like put it up is it down too often should I put it up you know what I'm gonna do something with my hair hold on guys ta-da what do you guys think of the pink hair and look 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 purple tips it's so cute isn't it crazy it's all hot pink you guys do you like it is it too much Note to self, if you put that it's too much, you're probably on the wrong channel. Anyways, because this is amazing. It's hot pink with purple tips. It's the cutest. Okay, so you guys, isn't this amazing? I love it. I, I did, I braided it to, you know, give it a little curl to it, but it's so cute. I love it. Oh my gosh. I had so much fun. So first I started by dyeing a strip of my mom's hair pink because she wanted it. Then my daughter wanted pink tips. So she has pink tips. And then we also took my mom's dog and dyed the tip of her tail. Don't worry. The hair dye is vegan and it's safe and all that. Dyed the tip of her little tail because she's a white dog. So it's so cute. She's happy. And then I decided, you know what? All of it. Just all. And Mr. Pineapple loves it. Don't you? Mm -hmm. Loves it. It's pink. And all the little pineapple children love it. Right, children? Sure. The oldest pineapple child doesn't seem to enjoy it. He said that he likes my hair natural. And I was like, I do too. But how often do you get to be hot pink? I actually like it. But okay. Like Quick it. side I vote. Like Not at all yarn related. How many people think I look like I belong in like a Pokemon cartoon? <laughs> She's Jessie. Do I look like a villain from the Pokemon series? <laughs> I don't care. I love it absolutely love it let me know what you guys think do you guys love the hot pink do i keep the hot pink to grow the hot pink out i'm keeping the hot pink the hot pink stays okay all right guys that was a little bit of fun i had with y'all now on to i guess we'll just start with projects and stuff i started this podcast is all over the place because i can't stop looking at myself in the viewfinder i've got hot pink hair you guys it's so pink <laughs> and nobody knows it's a total surprise. Not even my best friend Al knows. Al, what do you think of the pink hair? Surprise. <laughs> okay. Things I've been working on. Let's do that. Whips and whatnot. I don't have, I only have one finished object and you guys saw it in the last video. It was my, let me make sure I'm showing the right side of this thing. It is my marble spring shawl. Isn't it pretty? Which, you guys, doesn't the, this color look amazing with my hair now? Mm. Anyways, <laughs> so amazing i love this uh so many of you guys have bought it thank you so much and i hope you guys really do enjoy it sorry about that guys i had a little issue with my memory card apparently i don't clean it off as nearly as often as i should anyways i was talking about the marble spring shot you guys were you a bunch of you have bought it thank you so much i hope you guys really do enjoy it i um have not that's what i was saying mm -hmm. blonde moment well pink moment I don't know what you say now because now I'm not a blonde. But anyways, I haven't gotten a chance to wear this, like wrap it around my shoulders and be warm by the fire because it's been like 100 degrees here in Michigan. Right, Mr. Pineapple? Mm-hmm. Super hot. Like super sweaty hot. And, okay, quick side rabbit trail, whatever you want to call it. 
uh, the air conditioner in our expedition just went out like it will stop working and starts blowing like ridiculously hot air so the other day was my nephew's birthday happy birthday my sweet nephew kenny anyways and we had to drive two and a half hours to get to his birthday party and our air conditioner was like just stopped so we stopped and we bought some what's it called honey some freon freon or freon whatever and we're gonna put it in except for our stupid car the port that you put the freon in is like up under some stuff so you have to like remove stuff to do that which it's not a big deal. Mr. Pineapple used to be a Ford mechanic. He could totally do that, except for he has his injured arm and he had just gotten staples out. And anyway, so we had to drive with the windows down, which made my hair all poofy. It was crazy. But anyway, so I have not, all that rabbit trail to tell you, I have not gotten to wear this yet out by the fireplace like I want to wear it. But I will be soon and you'll see photos because I love it. So again, if you're interested in this, uh, there are links down below to the Ravelry store, to the Lovecraft store, to my website. All places you can purchase said pattern. And all my other patterns and other what I've got. Um, oh, sorry, I had some stuff sitting in the wrong spot. Now, let's see. I've only been working on two projects because I... Okay, guys. One of the things that I have figured out that is a huge, huge issue for me is I have like what I like to call squirrel tendencies. <laughs> and by what that I mean, I'll be like, ooh, a new pattern. Ooh, a new. My oldest is outside playing with a laser gun and I can hear it. <laughs> and I don't know if you guys can hear it. <laughs> Sorry, God. Sorry, at the proper pineapple and everyday pineapples, if you're watching that too, this is just how we roll. We, we, we yell at the kids to the doors. All right, Star, shut the door so that we can get that noise over with. There we go. Okay. I have what I like to call squirrel tendencies. So I'll be like, ooh, new pattern. Ooh, new pattern. Ooh, new design. I do that all the time. You can ask Mr. Pineapple. I have bags and bags of projects I'm working on, and I just am like, focus, Holly, to one at a time. So I'm trying to do that right now. And um, the... The pattern, okay, so what I want to do is work on a pattern that is not mine because that is like, I don't have to focus my brain on that. I just follow their instructions and do what they want. Makes it easy, right? So the one that I am working on, you guys aren't going to be very surprised because is the, do, 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 trying to get the thing. It's my flat iron shawl, you guys. Flat iron shawl by, uh, it's Tony... Flat Iron Shaw by, it's TL Yarn Crafts. I know her name is Tony. But this is beautiful. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's like a, uh, it's like the uh, Free Your Fade from Andrea Mowry, but in crochet. Which you guys know I made the Free Your Fade and I loved it so much. So I started this on Christmas. And here we are in July and I'm still working on it. Uh, so I did all the yellow section, which was my color number one, and I striped in this, and I don't remember where I showed you last. I think I only had a little of it striped in, so I think I've gotten quite a bit done. This is what I was working on whilst Mr. Pineapple was getting his fistula surgery. But, so I've got this color in. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm in love with this color. Let me hold it up there so you can see it. I bought this skein of yarn at Rhinebeck in 2018. It was my, um... I'll let the camera focus here. Hello. There we go. It was what I would call my unicorn skein. The one skein I saw fell in love with and just knew I had to have. So I paired it with this beautiful yellow that I had gotten from Knit Crate. It's called like banana yellow. This yarn is from, let me see if I can get the tag. It's from Schweitzer Fiber Mill. I'll put that right up there. It does not have a color name. Come on camera. Focus. There we go. Schweitzer Fiber Mill. So there's all the information. It is a Superwash Merino, 410 yards. Hello, camera. There I am. <laughs> I loved it so much. I had to have it. And I'm loving it even more in this shawl. Oh my gosh. It's stunning, isn't it, you guys? And then the third color, because it's a three color, is going to be this beautiful ball here. I'll pull it back there. Oh my gosh. It goes on my hair so well, doesn't it, honey? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and this is from... I want to say honeybee honeybee knits this was a gift to me from one of my wonderful pineapple people jennifer thank you so much i cannot wait to get this color in but honeybee knits 
totally cute. Oh. Camera. The lighting's a little off in here today. So that's what I'm working on. I got quite a bit done. As you can see, I think when I showed you last, I'd only had a little of this. I got all of this done. So I'm getting there. I'm getting there so quickly. Oh, and just to let you guys know, I so I had taken off my fake nails, <laughs> my acrylics, so that my real nails could have a little break. And the, if you look, they're, they're hot pink because the hair dye, for some reason, didn't stick to nothing but my fingernails. So... No, my nails are not dirty. Yes, I clean underneath of them. They are hot pink because of hot pink. Come on, guys. <laughs> so, please don't lecture me. I clean my nails. I promise you, okay? The other thing I'm working on, because I told you I want to work on a design of mine. Well, I told you I want to work on a pattern that's not mine and a design. It's my own design that I'm finally getting around to making. And I'm finally going to share with you what it is and what the name of it is so that you guys can follow along and get excited for this pattern. So I am collaborating with Janice from Adelaide Fiber Co. Um, with her yarn because I saw it when I was up at the yarn garden for local yarn store day. I saw this color called plantain. Look at this color, you guys. I will link her down below. Look at this gorgeous yellow. You can't tell very much. Maybe you can. There's little flecks of brown. Um, and then the brown breaks into little oranges and whatnot. Anyways, it's stunning. It's called plantain. And that is actually pretty funny because it goes along with the name of what I'm making. So first off, let me tell you what I'm making. I have been, you know, for months scrolling through, you know, Ravelry and Instagram and all the places. And seeing all these stunning knitted crop tops so cute like little crop sweaters and I was like oh it's so adorable so adorable and then finally just hit me I need to I want to design one of my own and there are tons of great patterns already out there but mine is a very simple sweater it's not going to have like a lot of it's basically going to be like one or two stitches really simple crop and I'm doing it in the color plantain from Adelaide Fiber Co and it's going to be called this crop is bananas, which I thought was hilarious when I, my hair's all poofy in weird ways. I'm sorry, guys. I'm still getting used to the thing. So, I've only just begun this, but I have the, this will be worked from the top down in one piece, well, one piece, and then you add the arms. It's going to be super simple. So, I have the start of my yoke done. That's all I've gotten to so far. But you guys, it is so cute. Let me see if I can find a good spot that has some of the specklings. Let me see. Ah, oh, there we go. You can kind of see the speckling of the yarn. Isn't it beautiful? And her yarn is super soft and squishy. I believe it's in 8515, so it's got more merino than it does nylon. Oh, it's so soft. So it's going to use fingering weight yarn, and it's going to be an adorable little crop top. Isn't it cute? Let's see if I can get that up there one more time. Nope, it's focusing on my face. But you can't even see because I got yarn in front of it. But anyways, so I'm going to get working on this more. So the next time you see this, it'll be more than just a little band. It will actually be probably the full yoke of the sweater. I'm so excited because there's going to be some interesting stuff about this. The construction of this is a little interesting. But I don't want to tell all right now. But yeah, so stay tuned for this crop is bananas. It's going to be an adorable crocheted crop top. And obviously, with a crop top, you can just make it longer if you don't want it to be cropped. You just keep going. It is using fingering weight yarn. I don't know if I said that. I probably did. And I'm using a 5 millimeter. I am, of course, using one of my hooks by Nelson... Is it Nelson Woods or Nelson's Wood? I can never remember, you guys, but he will be linked down below because I love his hooks. This one is stunning. It is like a blue and yellow... Why is it not focusing? I am not even on camera. Ugh. The lighting. Well, that's not bad there. But it's a stunning hook. You know I love them. But any 5mm hook will work. Whatever one you guys like. So that pattern I'm hoping to have done fairly soon. I am writing it for multiple sizes. Um, let me get my little book out here and see what sizes I'm writing for. Let's see. I'm doing extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large. And I am doing the extra large, I believe. 
Yes, I'm doing the extra large. I had to stop and think, you guys. I believe I'm doing the extra large. I will double check that. So I am going to need some testers to do the small, the extra small, the medium, and the large. So um, if you are interested in testing, this crop is bananas because it's not ready yet. It won't be ready for a while. I literally just started writing this all up, but it will be, it will go quick once I get there. If you're interested in that and you would like to be my tester, or maybe I'm doing the large. I'm going to have to sit down and figure out which size I did because I've been writing it and totally forgot. But I'm going to need some testers. Please get a hold of me. Either email me or get a hold of me on Instagram. I am looking for somebody to test this that has an active Instagram account that is not private. Because I want you to post photos and get the hashtag out there. You know, kind of just advertisement basically so if you are active on instagram and obviously have experience in crocheting and preferably crocheting garments and preferably finger weight yarn <laughs> let me know you can either write me on instagram or email me at the proper pineapple and we'll get that taken care of because i will need testers probably in another week or two is when the pattern will be done and then i'll be getting it out to testers so let me know if you guys are interested um that's it. That's all I've been working on because you guys know life is crazy right now with Mr. Pineapple and his stuff. We're, we're starting to get into our groove, starting to figure out what needs to be done and where and, and we're getting into it. Right, honey? Mm -hmm. Yes. So things are going to start picking up for the proper pineapple. I'm going to start making more stuff. Um, I guess all that's left. Well, no, I got to tell you about. Okay, so the things coming up. Um... At the beginning of August is Stitches Midwest in Chicago. Well, not in Chicago. Sham Schamburg, Illinois. I'm assuming that's close to Chicago. I don't really know. Anyways, and I am going, and Al is going. We're actually going with the Yarn Garden. Um, she uh, rents a bus, and we all drive down together is what we're going to do. I'm super excited. It's the first time I've done this. First time I've been to Stitches Midwest. We will be going on that Friday the 2nd. Of August. Sorry, something just fell in my house. <laughs> we'll be going this Friday or that Friday, the second. So I will be there. Please come find me. Come say hi to me. You know, take some photos with me. I'll be the one with pink hair. So if you can't find me, I don't know what to tell you because pink hair, people. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. So that's the August second. Then August seventeenth is a Saturday, and that is when I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Saturday is the day I will be at Michigan Fiber Festival in Allegan County again this year. I don't know if there's anything going on. Last year, um, Lacey from Hooked on Owls organized a whole podcast or meetup. I don't know if we're going to do that again, but I will definitely be there, so please come say hi to me. And I will definitely confirm if it's that Saturday, but I'm pretty sure it is Saturday the 17th. I don't know if Al's going to be there. I think she is. Come hang out with me and Al. But me and Mr. Pineapple and all my little pineapple people will be there, so come hang out. On either one of those things, if you could make it to either Stitches Midwest on the 2nd and find me, or on the 17th in Michigan Fiber Festival up in Allegan County, that'd be great. And we do have, if you guys remember, I announced with Al a little while ago that starting in September, we're going to do a baby blanket cow that we're still going to be doing. So you guys can get started on those now if you want. It's in more information, it will be coming soon, okay? Now I just have a couple of acquisitions or purchases happy mail whatever you want to say and the first one I want to talk about is this adorable pearl necklace that my sweetie surprised me with this morning I was sleeping because I'm lazy and <laughs> I'm not gonna lie <laughs> I like to sleep in I stay up late and sleep in and he woke me up with this beautiful pearl necklace and these adorable pearl earrings and if anybody knows me they know I love pearls so I love that and I had to share how sweet Mr. Pineapple is everybody say aw aw yeah I could, I can hear you all saying it. All right. Then I did get a package from one of my pineapple peoples from Cindy McAdams from Jerry'sville, Jerseyville, Jerseyville, Illinois. Are you going to come to Stitches Midwest, Cindy? I'd love to meet you. She sent me a couple little things because she said she saw all these and thought of me and it would make me happy. So thank you. They do. I love them. First, she sent me this adorable little bag. A little pineapple on it. Isn't that cute? And of course it's pink. Mm -hmm. Then she sent me this pink bag with pineapples all over it. I love these because these are great for like groceries and stuff. And I don't have to keep getting plastic bags. So 
thank you so much these will get used definitely and she sent me this adorable pink flamingo lip gloss let me see if i can get it to focus on it guys look at this look at the pink look it's wearing a crown that's adorable i love that I, the, it's sweet peach scented I, i've been waiting to open it up and see if i like it i can't open it <laughs> i am actually really picky about my chapsticks I've never had a peach scented chapstick, so let's see if I will like this one. I do hope I will. I like that one. Do you guys want to smell it? Can you smell it? Here, smell. Smell the pineapple's butt. Or I'm sorry, the flamingo's butt. No, can't smell it? Just me. There's a kid that just drove by driving his grandmother's uh, golf cart here in the campground, and he looks like ridiculously excited about that. Sorry, I had to look out the window. So thank you so much, Cindy. I love it. I don't even know if I'll use this as much as just set it somewhere. It's so cute. And the bags will definitely get used. So thank you, thank you so much. Oh, and wait, I forgot there was something in the envelope. Pay attention, Holly. She made me an adorable little pineapple stitch marker. Let me use the back of this to block out my face and maybe it'll focus. If the pineapple would stop wiggling, it might focus. No? I just want to focus. Oh, there we go. Little gold pineapple with some pink beads. I absolutely love it. It's going into my stitch marker collection. So thank you so much, Cindy. I do hope we get to meet. And then the only other thing I've got is some yarn I purchased. And I actually purchased this a couple weeks ago. I just haven't got a chance to put it in a podcast because, you know, well, I purchased it and it took a week or two before they mailed it out. And then, of course, it took a week or two before I did the podcast. So I ordered this from um, the Miller Girls. If you guys don't know them, I they were in one of my videos from the tip of the mitt. And also, if you don't know them, you've got to look them up online, especially on Facebook. They have these private sales where it's just people that they let in and they sell their yarn really, like, really cheap on these private sales. So I ordered two colors and two skeins of each. And this is... Um, Let's see. So one, it came in this adorable flower bag. How cute is that? I totally ripped it apart because I was like, yarn. It is 100% Tussa silk. It is a fingering weight and it is 500 yards per 100 grams. And like I said, the Miller girls, you guys, you have to check them out. I got to meet them. They're super sweet and super nice. First off, you will not at all. What happened to this skein of yarn? I'll fix that in a minute. You won't at all be surprised at this color, which oddly goes with my hair like ridiculously well isn't this beautiful it's this gorgeous fuchsia i would say fuchsia so i ordered two skeins of this which i love and then ignore this one skein i don't know what i did to it but i've obviously messed it up i could not resist this wonderful army green what color green would you call this honey olive no it's a little darker than an olive right yeah. But it's not army green either. It's not army and it's not olive, but it's this beautiful like brownie green. And you, you guys, you're gonna think I'm crazy, but the reason I did it was I was like, I love these together, right? I'm actually thinking of designing maybe a sweater or something like this. What do you think? Guys, vote down below. Do you like the green with the pink? <laughs> Does the pink blend in with my hair too much? <laughs> but the green looks great with the hair, right? Yeah. I love them. I cannot wait to work with them. And it was just such a great deal. 500 yards and it's Tussa silk. So you guys, silk is great for the summertime. So maybe I will make a top or something because it's just better. It's a little lighter than wool. It's not quite as itchy. That's it guys. That's all I've got. I know this was kind of a weird podcast and I kind of like rambled and did a bunch of weird stuff, but I have pink hair and it's kind of freaking me out. So, <laughs> but in a good way, I love it so, so, so much. I'm going to get out of here. I got a lot to do. I will get back with you guys shortly and hopefully I will have lots of patterns. Like I said, if you are interested in all in testing my sweater for me, please write me and we can discuss. I don't know exactly how much yardage yet is going to be needed for each size. I will be figuring that out as I go here. So it's kind of up in the air. I know I have three skeins of the plantain color from Adelaide Fiber Co. I hope I don't need all of that, but we'll see. So anyways, guys, I got to get out of here. Lots to do today. Bye, guys.